But here's what's happening. We have some extreme heat in the area for this time of year. In fact, we're above average yesterday at 85 degrees. Even our overnights are warmer than they should be. Look at these high temperatures from yesterday. Fond du Lac hitting 89. You were just one degree away from 90 degrees. Well, in the Menominee, 77 was your high temperature. Now, of course, we are looking at a mix of sunshine, some high level clouds, temperatures in those mid 60s right now here into Green Bay, low 60s into the Northwoods and even some low 70s down into Fond du Lac this morning. Dew points into the low to mid 60s. So when you put those two together, they're pretty close in temperature. We are getting high humidity out there. It is very sticky and quite oppressive. In fact, there's a heat advisory and even warnings just off to the west of us, and that extends all the way from Minneapolis down to Louisiana. And we are definitely feeling some of the effects of that, but we're not going to feel those triple digit temperatures. Now, here's some storms that fired up yesterday evening. They have continued down into Chicago now, bringing severe weather warnings here for us. We dodged that. We stayed calm. We're still beautiful as we head through our morning, but our eyes turn up into Minnesota. These are some storms firing up already severe warned, and they are going to be headed and coming our way as the slow pressure system continues to track right at Wisconsin, bringing this strong storm system our way where we could even see a duratio form, which is very rare. So we are in a very rare significant weather event where we have now been upgraded just overnight into a moderate risk into, yes, our viewing area where EAA is happening into Oshkosh, Appleton, Fond du Lac, Princeton, Watoma, Wapaka. All of you need to be very careful as we head through this evening. Now, sunshine to start the day. Never, ever take that for advantage because that is actually active as fuel adding to the instability for these storms to work off of. So we could see a few quick ones pop up from about two to four. These will be very short lived. Then the big guys come in. This arrives after 6 p.m., mainly around six to seven into Wausau Stevens Point as it continues down through our area. This is the one that could be potentially very dangerous as it goes through the area, leaving by about midnight or 1 a.m. Now, the things that we need to keep an eye on as that system rolls on through is the fact that we could see some very damaging straight line winds, significant widespread. We could also see some large hail and even potential for flooding. When I say large hail, this system, I'm talking about hen size or bigger. Yes, very damaging, serious hail. Also, in terms of flooding, we're going to get another quick two to four inches into that system as we have our dew points rise into those low 70s. Temperatures today rising into those mid to upper 80s, even some low 90s, especially further into that risk area. We also have the potential for strong tornadoes. Yes, this does happen. We are at the northern edge of Tornado Alley, and they can occur with little or no advanced warning in these systems. So please stay weather savvy as we go through this evening. Take shelter the second thunder roars head indoors. Now today, temperatures, like I said, hot and humid into those mid to upper 80s. Tonight, falling down into the upper 60s as that storm system moves on out. We'll still continue to stay breezy through our night and tomorrow with gusts up to about 20 miles per hour, a little bit cooler into those low 80s. Behind that system, we are going to be cooling off and calming down. Notice Thursday, Friday, nothing but sunshine, low 80s to upper 70s. Then as we push into the weekend, Saturday, we have a chance for some more storms to roll on through. But Sunday, we calm things out and temperatures are quite comfortable as we push into next week into some mid to upper 70s for so us. we've got today to prep, essentially. Oh, yes, absolutely. Please do. All right.